A young man from Wasco proves it's never too late to turn things around. A car accident severely burned more than half of his body, but instead of allowing those injuries to define who he is, he found a way to redefine his own life. We met Francisco Padilla back in 2018, six years after he spent 10 and a half months at the Leones Peters Burn Center. He sustained burns on 70% of his body after he fell asleep at the wheel and crashed his car into a pole. We got an update on his life today and he reminds us he wouldn't be where he is without the staff at Community Regional. <laughs> Life is now full of laughter and smiles for Francisco Padilla. He can walk and move, things he didn't think he was going to be able to do in 2012 when he was hospitalized at the burn center. For a long time throughout my process here at the hospital, I kept going through surgeries. My legs were very, very badly burned. And I had been bed bound for so long that just with muscle atrophy, just on its own, and then you add the burns to that. I couldn't walk. I couldn't. I didn't have no range of motion because of the burns were so bad. He had severe burns, second and third degree burns all over his body. Registered nurse Shana Henry is a burn injury prevention specialist at the burn center. So we are an ABA um, American Burn Association verified burn center, um, which is a, a very highly esteemed um, certification that our burn center holds. And within that, that means that we meet certifications and we can provide essentially comprehensive hair, care for our patients. And within that, that a uh, physical therapist sees our patients within 24 hours and does the initial assessment. Enter physical therapist Ace Santoyo, the man who encouraged Francisco in more ways than he could have ever imagined. A lot of times he said, I can't do this, I can't do that. And it was just a matter of showing him, have you tried it? And so, so it basically was just kind of redirecting him what he was thinking that he could not do, but he was capable of it, but he just chose not to. He took me through the range of motion, um, he would make sure that I was stretching every day. He would come and stretch me even though it was so much pain. He would um, give me exercises to do. Physical therapy helped Francisco push through his multiple surgeries. So receiving physical therapy um, directly early on directly translates to, to better outcomes uh, once they are healed. Um, early mobility decreases mortality rate. But ACE helped Francisco with more than his physical recovery. He became someone he looked up to. Francisco explains his life at that time was not something he was proud of. He'd served time in prison and didn't have much direction. I didn't grow up having like goals and dreams of my life just pertain to just getting in trouble, didn't really have no role models, didn't have no one to look up to. And Ace inspired Francisco to pursue education once again. Go to college. Why well, haven't you finished high school? Well, go back and finish your high school, get a graduate, get, get your degree, get your diploma, and then strive to become someone in, something in college. So he says, well, I want to become a therapist. Okay, then perfect. Let's try to become a physical therapist. Better yet, let's get you to become a physical therapist in the burn center since you have, you know, first hand knowledge and experience being on this side of the coin. And that's exactly what Francisco is doing today. He became the first person in his family to attend college and I'll be graduating this December with my doctorate of physical therapy degree. One thing that he always said was no one He always said, no one believed in me, but she did. I'm grateful for everything that happened to me. I feel like I could give someone else hope and give someone else a chance, you know, like if this guy could do it, why can't I?